Good morning my cellmates. Um, still not feeling the best and very fed up with myself. After some um, doctor's appointments and chest x-rays they say that I have pleurisy which is basically a pneumonia infection on my lungs so I'm on antibiotics now so really hope to shake this because I'm getting so fed up with myself wanting to just go down and lay down when I love being in my art room and I love getting out and about so um, I'm gonna just do it an easier pour for me today because it's just with the pre-made pouring paints I haven't had to make the paints up so I'm gonna do a little I'm gonna test further test with these I've done a dip and I've done a swipe Oh no, what, do, what else did I do? I can't remember, my brain's not working. But I'm gonna try a swipe with these today. As you can see, I did a little test on those little hearts, different, I did a two dirty cut paws and then one I did a few balloon kisses and the other one I didn't. And as you can see, they've turned out really nice. I was also asked about how did the dips turn out that I did with the poster paint last week and I'm always impressed with the poster paint, to tell you the truth, because it stays so vibrant and, yeah, really vibrant and beautiful. Because I've got some dips that I did well over 12 months ago with poster paint on bigger canvases, which I'll put the photo on my Acrylic Art by Julie Q Facebook page. And they've stayed just as bright. And so, I mean, if you want to do some uh, budget-conscious art around your home or gifts then obviously the poster paints a good um, option I'm not sure I'll have to google what the difference is between poster paint I know one uh, is tempura paint and acrylic obviously acrylic that was what I dipped it with but then I did a few balloon kisses so it's yeah that one was dipped on that one like that so but that is my favorite part of it so really vibrant dried really well so I know I was asked so these are the Montmartre pre-made pouring paints um, and I've used them in a few videos before so they're really good option for anybody that doesn't want to go through the process of making up all their own paints but they're still a really good option to make um, yeah art for your home so the, I'll go through the colours that I'm going to use on this particular pour as I do do it. Uh, these are just some of the colours, but yeah, it's really a uh, nice, easy way. If you're in Australia, I have um, an online supplier that I get my uh, paints from. That will be in the drop-down box there. You'll see the link straight through to the online uh, website so you can get these paints and you can also get uh, the Helmar silicon that I use so we're all good to go and I'm gonna just I, I just put the colors in cups separate um, I haven't done anything with them except stir them up give them a stir so I'm just going to um, try and go through the colors so this one's the magenta in the um, Montmartre pre-made pouring paint. So I'm going to see what a swipe turns out in these. I haven't, I think I've done the dirty pour and I think I've done a dip and I've done, I've done a balloon, but I'm not sure if I've just done the straight out swipe. I can't remember now. So I'm going to just use these paints to just give my little addiction fix for the days uh, and then go down lay down again because the one thing this feeling ill this time has just made me feel like overly tired like I've just got to sleep so I do like to do something as I miss my painting so much but then I'll go and have a rest which is a good thing so that was the magenta and this is the dusty pink
just had my I had my one son and his partner come and stay Friday so that was nice but obviously when you're not feeling well I feel so guilty that you're not up offering them meals and drinks that I just wanted to lay down but I've got good daughter-in-laws that um, get up and help themselves so that's good don't need to be waited on which is really good okay and the next one is the peach so they're all pretty uh, supple colors so far so far she says so it'd be interesting to see how these go on a, one of my swipes to see if they actually come out looking like they would normally when I do a swipe. Right, I'm going to throw in the mix, the Cadinian, Cadminian, Cadminian red is it? Oh, I can never get this, I've only got a little bit of this left so just pour it in there that's all it's gonna and fill that line up okay these paints I believe come like already um, with the Everything that you need in them, I presume they've got um, silicone in them, I'm not sure. They don't seem to sell up too much, so you could add silicone. This is the dark purple. All these colours are available in Australia, and I believe they are becoming available in the US. So I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'm told that they are, so... going to add a little bit of the turquoise which is gorgeous just in here I'll do a few lines of my turquoise and where I'm, I am going to swipe from this top but I don't like to um, have a band as you know I, I like to have colour in between so Be brave with colour. Just go for it. Don't let it be scary. Don't be scared of colour. Mm. Don't be scared of anything when you're painting. That's what it's all about. There's no boundaries. Just do what you enjoy doing and what your heart leads you to do at the time. If it all turns out that you don't like it in the end, what is it? It's just paint, just scrape it off. So I'm gently giving it a tilt. This paint is uh, comes probably a little bit runny, definitely a little bit runnier than probably what I would make up. Um, but then again, it can also be thinned with the pouring medium if you want it to do probably uh, different styles. Oops. Okay, so it's just keeping it centered and I'm trying to get the ends covered but I don't worry too much about corners because I can just finger pop them afterwards if I um, want to put a bit more paint there's always enough paint that you've run off to pop over with your finger like all this like so and you can go around afterwards like just finger popping it the colour that you've run off so it's all good no panic no stress use it as therapy therapeutic I just wash my hands off sorry so as you know I don't normally swipe in black or white but the last couple of pours I've been giving it a go 
So I'm going to do the, the black in the Montmartre um, pouring paint. Very Well, they're all highly pigmented paints. So um, really do need to wear gloves when you're uh, using this because it really does um, stain. <laughs> so really nicely, highly pigmented. So I'm going to just try that. And just, I haven't done this one full swipe on the pre-made pouring paints. So, fingers crossed, it's a good option for those that don't want to worry about the making up of the paint, silicones and so forth, work that goes with it. I'm just going to give it, ah, oh, where am I getting this paint from? Okay, it's on the, on the other side. So this is my... Uh, plastic file divider that I just think is one of the best things for swiping so I'm not going to worry if it, the sides are missed because I can go down them afterwards oh wow the black's taken over the whole lot oh but look at those cells oh my god look at them popping up like night sky that is so pretty to watch oh that would be so good in a time lapse look at that it's pretty, oh my goodness, it's like magic happening <laughs> before your eyes. It's just like, they're just all these tiny little bubble cells popping up before your very eyes. It's really quite magical. Oh, yep, love my life when things happen that still get me excited in art. Love it, love it, love it. Just going down, see even now where the thicker it's starting to pop through. Oh, I must take a photograph of that because that looks so magical just as it is with those little tiny champagne cells. Very exciting. Yeah, that's uh, pretty incredible, isn't it? Look at those. They're um, just popping up like, yeah, just like champagne. <laughs> Maybe that's what I need. A bottle of champagne. Where's my phone? I just want to show you how if uh, incredible things happen in your work, definitely take photos as you go along. Um, so I've just got an iPhone and I just want to, so I'll, I'll lift it up to the, to get the whole frame in, but then I'll come down as you see, I just wanted to get those tiny cells before I actually, I, I will um, hit with the gun, the butane torch, but look at those, <laughs> that's pretty, well, it's completely different than I would normally get, so, and I really like it, so that's, I just put some photos of that when I put the photos up on my acrylic art page, so Okay, I'm using a butane torch now to see what, what, what we get up. Ooh, oh, it's like waving a magic wand, look at that. If you're not confident, obviously, with a torch like this, then please don't until you're highly confident. Get like either a heat gun, even a hair dryer, as long as the hair dryer is not too close, so blow it away. Um, but yeah, the butane torch like this, you really need to feel confident. You really need to have a fire extinguisher, everything handy because you are working with um, obviously a gas so, and you have to be confident what you're doing, not get frightened and drop it. Well, this is quite, I mean, it's completely different than I would normally get. It's quite amazing because I'm sure that this will just develop over time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it for a little while, maybe 30, 40 minutes. I'll come back in and have a look at it. And then I might even give it some balloon work so I can tell you with confidence how this Montmartre pour, pouring pre-made pouring paint actually works. Uh, giving it the balloon work because um, so that's interesting but look at that <laughs> it's definitely like a starry night
but I'm sure that that's going to develop further and the colours come through. Um, and I'm absolutely sure with a few balloon embellishments. I mean, but if that's the stage you love, then obviously it's perfect. But for me, that needs a little something oomph. Okay, I'll be back soon. Just add in a few balloon dips and rolls. As you can see, the cells have stayed tiny like uh, champagne bubbles. Absolutely delicate and beautiful. I tried a little roll and look at that. That's so gorgeous. I'm just going to do a couple because I've gone and busted my thing that holds the camera. Um, so I'm, I'm going to have to try and do some balloon rolls and dips and hold the camera at the same time just to get this video finished. So I might just do a few and then that'll be it. So as you can see, absolutely gorgeous. I'm not going to be able to do this, am I? <laughs> oh, I'm in a right stew. Okay. Press it in. Roll it. Oh, look at that. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Look at the effect. So I said, I can't, I'm like holding my camera with one hand <laughs> and the balloon and the other. So put it in. Hang on, let me let, ooh. Oh, yeah, baby. See, so I've got that other big one that I've done that I've yet to finish filming and I've gone and bust my things. So I'm gonna need help trying to organize something to put the camera back up where I had it. But look at that effect in these pre-made pouring paints. I'm gonna do another, another balloon kiss. Oh, okay. I think it needs the roll. Oh, I've gone and stuff that one up because I'm trying to hold the camera with one hand and film. So I'm all over the shop here. Oh yeah, look at the reds come through now. That, oh, that's so nice. Oh my God. That looks so cool against that black. There you go. Look at the effect you can get with that really feathery tiny little um champagne cells just gorgeous look at that stands out so much against the black those colors absolutely gorgeous one more yeah while well, i've got the camera because i'll finish it off but i can't finish it off while i'm holding the camera and that give it the best but you get the gist that it's just, that was just a little balloon kiss. Balloon kiss there, look. Just gorgeous. Really, really happy with that. So I will do a few more, but I'm just sorry that I've broken my tripody thing holder but I will get back to you. You'll see at the end of this, I will, at the end of this video, I'll put the finished product, but thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't do so, please subscribe. More so than anything, um, watch my videos and enjoy. Thank you so much.